evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and God has called and commissioned me to lead people of all walks of life to a deep and genuine encounter with Him. By the grace of God, I have seen many people touched by God in this ministry and I encourage you, my dear friend, to connect in faith. Believe and you shall receive in the name of Jesus. You can eat natural food and still die of hunger. But if you eat heavenly food that comes from God, you will go to another level. My dear friend, man does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the Father. Welcome to the glory realm, a time that we spend with God and is proudly brought to you by GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry, the ministry that aims to take you back to the house of the living God. I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and I'm so happy to be with you today, my dear friend. I am so happy. It is a brand new day that God has given us and it is the third day of our special fasting and prayer. And I know like I know your life will never be the same again, my dear friend. This is the last day and it's a day that we should push and we should go strong. We should go strong in prayer and we should press through. Press in and touch the hem of his garment. You will receive your miracle. You will receive your breakthrough in the name of Jesus. I want to start this out by reading from the Gospel of Matthew chapter 4 verse 4. And I'm going to read to you from the King James Version. It says, But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. My dear friend, you can feed on natural food and you can feed your physical body. But in order to feed your spirit, you need special heavenly food that comes from God. As you feed your spirit with this heavenly food, you will go to another level because the prerequisite to going to another level in this physical realm is that you go to another level in the spiritual realm. And when I talk about the spiritual realm, I mean in your relationship and your connection to God. This can only happen, number one, if you've given your life to Jesus. Number two, if you're receiving from God, if you're receiving the heavenly manna, His revelation knowledge, His spoken word that is always in the confines of Logos, that is in line with the written word. If you receive that into your spirit, your spirit eats, your spirit feeds, and your spirit becomes strong your spirit goes to another level. As your spirit goes to another level, even this physical realm can't help it. It has to change. It has to follow through. It is essential, my dear friend, that you drink of the living waters and you eat of the heavenly manna that comes from God. And then your spirit will go to another level. The Bible says in the book of Genesis chapter 2 verse 7, the King James Version, it says, And the Lord God formed man out of the dust of the ground, and he breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and man became a living soul. You see, my dear friend, even the very life that flows in our blood, the Bible says the life is in the blood. Even the life that's in our blood, it came from God. God is the one who gave us that life. It's not from any other source. And if we go closer to God, this God who formed us, this God who knows us better than we know ourselves, if we get closer to him, he will give us more life. He comes to give us life and life more abundantly. And today I'm going to pray for you that you will receive this special heavenly manner in your life. And even as you receive it, I'm praying for you that you will go to another level. I'm praying for you that God will touch and change your life in a divine way. That God will do what only He can do. That you will see the manifestation of God's power in your life. That you will see that you and your generation will know that there is a God, He speaks and He lives. In saying that, let's go into a time of prayer, my dear friend. I feel the presence and the power of God and I just want to pray. I just want to seek God. I want to touch the hem of His garment. I don't know about you, my dear friend, but I know like I know like I know that today you are receiving a miracle in the name of Jesus. Whatever it is that you're asking God for, take it to the Lord in prayer and He shall give it to you. Ask in the name of Jesus and it shall be done for you. In saying that, take your cell phone, your device, go somewhere private where you can just pray, where you can seek God. And even as you go there, just begin to lift up praises to Him. Father, You are the Alpha and the Omega. You are the beginning and the end. You are the all-consuming fire. 
You are my God in whom I trust. My dear Heavenly Father, I just worship you and I praise you. I thank you for today, Lord. I thank you for your mercy. I thank you for your grace. I thank you for the smile that you've put on our faces today, both myself and my dear friend, both myself and your dear child whom you love so much. Lord, thank you for the breath of life. Thank you for another day. Thank you for your grace, Lord. It's your grace that sustains us. Thank you for your grace. By your grace, we've received another day. Lord, thank you, Lord, for your grace that we lived through the night to witness another day, to live to the fullest, to push to the fullest, to go to places where other people don't go. Some people didn't make it through the night. But Lord, you helped us, both myself and my dear friend, to make it through. And you've given us another day. Lord, do what only you can do in my dear friend's life. Change my dear friend's life for the better. I ask this in Jesus' name. And I thank you for it, Lord. And I give you all the glory right now in advance. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Hallelujah. My friend, the presence of God is here. Let's just welcome the Holy Spirit on the scene officially. Holy Spirit of God, I just welcome you. Come, Lord Holy Spirit. Come and take over control, Lord Holy Spirit. Take over control of this place where I'm recording and take over control of the place where my dear friend is watching. Lord, let your child who's watching this video receive the breath of life let your child receive heavenly manna that comes from God because man does not live on bread alone on this physical food alone but on every word that comes from the Father I pray this in Jesus name my dear friends say Holy Spirit move me now give me heavenly manna that I may eat and be full that my spirit may become strong I ask this in the name of Jesus Amen. Hallelujah. My dear friend, we're going to have to be fast because it's beginning to rain out here. But God is amazing. His presence and His power is here and He's going to touch you. We're going to go into a time of prayer. But before we go there, I want to encourage you to do three things. Number one, comment in the comment section and agree with me. There is so much power in agreement. As you agree with me, you shall receive your miracle. Number two, if you've got a private prayer request and you want me to pray with you and for you, if you want me to pray with you so that you can receive a miracle, go to my website, www.gabrielfernandezministries.org and just click on daily prayer list. Fill in your prayer request and submit it. It's going to come through to me. It comes through onto my device and I pray for all the requests that come in. Number three, if you've got a testimony and you want to testify and help build up someone else's faith, Feel free to go to my website, www.gabrielfernandezministries.org and just click on testimony or testify. Submit your testimony. Just fill in your testimony and click submit and then it will come through to us. We're going to review all the testimonies and we're going to start posting them up today, my dear friend. And God will bless you mightily. He will do what only He can do. But right now, let us begin to pray. My Father, my Father, my Heavenly Father, I love you so much, Lord. My dear friend watching this video loves you so much. Lord, we are here today because we realize that man does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from you. We realize that we shouldn't seek first the worldly things, but we should seek first the kingdom of God, knowing that all these things shall be added unto us. Whether we need money, whether we need uh, property, whether we need possessions, whether we need different things that we need, whether we need a job, whether we need employment, whether we need uh, supply of different kinds. Lord, we know that if we seek first your kingdom, all these things shall be added unto us. And we just thank you for that, Lord. Lord, today I pray for your child who's watching this video. Lord, let the breath of life be released over your child right now. Lord, let heavenly manna, divine heavenly manna, be released to your child who's watching this video that your child's spirit may become strong. Strengthen your child in the inner being, that your child will know the deep things that are found in Christ. Lord, strengthen your child in the inner being, that your child will know the depth of the riches that are available in Christ. Lord, strengthen your child in the inner being, so that your child may know the healing that is available in Christ. Lord, strengthen your child in the inner being, so that your child will know how good you are, Lord. I ask this in the name of Jesus. Lord, release life. Release life. Release life. Father, it is the third day of prayer and fasting. And we're not praying and fasting doing our own thing. We're praying and fasting because we want you, God. We want you more than anything else. We want you more than anything else, Lord. This is why we're praying and fasting. We want more of you. We are a generation that says we want to go to the house of the living God.
We want more of you. We want more of you, dear God. Lord, give us more of you today. Give my dear friend more of you, more of your presence, more of your power. And Father God, I pray, wherever your child might be in need, Lord, satisfy the desires of your child. Supply all the needs, whether it is finances that your child needs, whether it is a relationship many people have written in, many of your children have written in that they are looking to meet the right person. Let your child watching this video meet the right person. Lord, whether it's in the family, whether it's food that your, your dear child needs in the family, supply for your child watching this video. I pray this in the name of Jesus. Supply for your child watching this video. I pray this in the name of Jesus. Lord, do what only you can do. Do what only you can do. Lord, whether it's in the business, maybe the business of your child is not going so well. Lord, we are living in a time when you're raising up kingdom finances, kingdom business men and women. Lord, let your child watching this video be one of them. Let your child watching this video become a kingdom man or kingdom woman that is representing you in the business realm, in the business arena. I pray this in the name of Jesus. Lord, your child who is seeking you for a job, who doesn't have a job, let your child receive a job. Your child who is seeking you that has a job, but is trusting you for a better job, for, for a promotion. Lord, let your child receive jobs and better jobs. I pray this in the name of Jesus. Lord, do what only you can do. Do what only you can do in your child's life. I ask this in Jesus' name. And I thank you for it, Lord God. Amen. Hallelujah. My dear friend, the presence. The power of God is here. God is so good. Seek God. Seek God while he may be found. My dear friend, don't wait too long. Seek God. Seek God while you still have time. You never know when would be your time to check out of this earth. There are two things that are guaranteed in life, my dear friend. Number one is the time that we're born. Number two is the time that we die. Unless Christ comes in the time when we're still alive, that's when the second one won't happen. Commit your life to the Lord and you will never be sorry about that. Meditate on Romans 10 verse 9, and God will bless you. Give your life to Jesus today, and he will bless and change you forevermore. In Jesus' name. Until we meet again tomorrow, my dear friend, receive your miracle and be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. God said it. I believe it, and that settles it. Until tomorrow. Shalom and goodbye. If you were blessed by this video and you'd like to give a seed, feel free to do so using any one of the secured links provided in the description. If you would like to partner with us to support the work of the gospel on a monthly basis, then you can do so via Patreon. The link for Patreon as well as other information is also provided in the description. Other than that, my friend, God bless you, God keep you, God make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Until we meet again next time, Shalom and goodbye.